hey, while you build things, you need to correct things or even delete. I'm going to show you how to do this the GitHub way and then also in a pinch or if you're using GitHub pages, you just want to do it live out there in your repository. This video is for you. When you make changes to the code, you then will see an update in your GitHub desktop. You would enter a summary of why you're changing this file and then you will commit it and then push it live. And afterwards, it shows up in your repository as the corrected file. If you want to delete a file, it's the same thing. If you remove a file from here and then when you go to GitHub desktop, it's going to be removed. So I'll show you both examples. Let's take a look at both examples. Here I'm going to update and maybe I just want to make a tiny change like I am within this div. I save the changes. When I go to GitHub desktop, it's going to show me what changed and I'm going to write the reason just for testing purposes. And I'm going to commit to main and push to origin. I'll click here to view it out on GitHub. I'll go to the index page. There's my change right there, testing and clicking here. And my change is now in the repository. What if I want to remove this page? To remove the page, I could just remove it from here. I'm going to right click and select delete. Move it to trash. I have a backup, so that's why I'm not worried about this step. When I go to my GitHub desktop, here's the change and it's a little red icon. This is being removed. I'll commit this. Commit to main. And I'll push it to the origin. Click on view on GitHub and the index page is no longer there. Without doing anything using GitHub to restore the file, I'm just going to do it locally. In this case, luckily my PHP file, since this is being hosted on Heroku, is really my index file. So I'm going to just do a file save as and just call this HTML, save. There's my index.html page. Going to GitHub Desktop. Going to add this page. Push it to origin. And again, view it on GitHub. And now there's my index page test adding. What if you want to change it live out here or remove it right from here? What if you want to edit or delete this file or replace this file? If, I, you, if you want to delete this file, just click here and you would go up here and select delete file. Then commit changes, but I don't want to do that. Let me go back. If you want to edit the file here, you would click this icon, edit this file and you would edit this file. You should have a good reason to do this. And then you would commit your changes. But I don't want to edit this file here. Let me go back. Instead, I just want to replace this file. To replace this file, this file says we are barbarian. To edit this, I'm going to just make a small change locally and I'm going to bypass using GitHub Desktop. Saving this. If you're using GitHub Pages, you might not have set up your repository in the traditional sense. So you might be just working live online with your bucket of information. Again, right now the index.html page says we are barbarian. Let me go back. To update the file, just click add file like you normally do and upload files. You would drag and drop that file here. So here's the file. And that edit is I am barbarian versus we. Going here, after juggling a bunch of windows, just drag and drop your changes.
and then click the Commit Changes button. When you go to your repository, you'll see when I click here, that change will be live. So that's how you change files up online in your repository. You can edit it there, you could delete things there, though once you start doing this for real, you should use GitHub Desktop to connect things together.